Hello Rockabilly Slap Bass Players! Welcome to part 2 of my Bill Black special of Mystery Train. In part 1 I was trying to show and explain the basic groove of this Rockabilly classic. In fact, the song's rhythmic foundation is an informal mix between a double slap and a triple slap, omitting the slap on beat 1 and 3, like this. It's like a boom chak boom chaka mix. Up to speed it goes like this. In part 2 I'm gonna show you the fills that Bill Black used to give this song this characteristic drive. I tried to give you a detailed explanation of every fill I found in the song. I thought it was fantastic to make this close look in Bill Black's work. You will see that many of those fills would work well as a single bass part of a song as well. I'm gonna show you the fills in the order they appear in the song or in the first verse respectively, but more or less they will work in every part of the song. I made a little transcription of the first verse, which I'm gonna show you at the end of this video, so you are able to learn exactly Bill Black bass part. So let's start with fill number one. It's also the fill with which the bass part was starting after a one bar guitar lick. Like in part one, I slowed everything down so you can see and hear it better. With the pointer finger of my left hand I grab the note E on D string 2nd fret. Fill number 1. 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4 1, 2, 3, 4 Fill number two. One, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and. Fill Number three. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and. Fill number four. One, two, and three, four, one, Two and three, four. Fill number five. One, two and three, four and one, two and three, four and. Fill number six. One, two, and three, and four, and one, two, and three, and four, and one. Up to speed. For this fill, you need a different left hand technique. You need to mute the slapped note on beat two and four so you get a dead note or a ghost note. Release your fretting finger a little so the note not gonna sound. With your right hand slap the string as you are used to do it. Hear the difference?
release release mute 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 you can also lay down the other fingers like I used to do it now I'm gonna show you how you can practice this fill number six one mute three mute one mute three mute next one mute and three mute and one mute and three mute and then one mute and three mute one mute and three mute then mix the basic groove with the muted groove one two three four one mute three mute now we're in line three one mute three mute one mute three mute one mute three mute second bar in line three one mute three mute one mute three mute one mute three mute the third bar one mute and three mute one mute and three mute then fourth line bar one one mute and three mute and one mute and three mute and and here we are fill number six on the record sometimes he played like this slow it's one two and three and four and one and three and four and one all right we got it please notice that these six fills are interchangeable but this particular sixth fill was used by Bill Black to emphasize Elvis lyrics listen to the original record whenever you hear four clicks or more in a row it's fill number six. So far my Bill Black special of Mystery Train. At the end of this video I have a rhythmic transcription of the first verse for you. Play it slow through the chord progression for practice. It's absolutely worth for and will bring you definitely to a higher level because of all those rhythmic changes Bill Black did. Thanks for watching and bye bye.